Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today, a little late, we're finally doing my everyday makeup basket for May. You're probably gonna see another one of these for June in just a couple of weeks, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I've been reaching for for May, just to keep the playlist intact, <laughs> even though this is about halfway through the month. And I have actually reorganized a couple of the drawers in here. Uh, you can see these are a little bit different, and so let's just go through everything. If you've seen one of these before, you'll know that down here I keep my Project Pan products, with the exception of this gigantic thing of powder, which is what I've been using for my face powder. I've been using the Cody Air Spun Powder, and this is in the shade Naturally Neutral. It's gonna take me forever to pan this. It's like halfway empty. Yeah, but there's still a lot of product, and this is really the only drawer that it fits in, so I've been keeping it right there. The rest of this is products from my Harry Potter Project Pan, which I am a bit behind on, <laughs> but if you want to check out that playlist, it'll be in the cards. Let's jump into powders next. There hasn't been too much of a change in my face powders, just because I am trying to go through my lightest powders before summer fully hits. Because I do tan at the drop of a hat, so I'm trying to go through my light powders, which the first one is this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, and this is in the shade Ethereal Light. I have hit pan on this, so I'm really hoping I can finish using this up before it's too light for me. <laughs> My next face powder is this Pixie powder. It's in the shade Translucent. I tried like scraping this to make a loose powder and see how that worked. It didn't work that well. So I'm gonna try just using this up on the rest of my face and get some more use out of it before, again, it's too light for me. If you're around my channel pretty often, you'll know I'm panning quite a few base products. So I don't really have too many base products in here, but a product I really wanted to pull back out is this ABH Moonchild Glow Kit, specifically because I really wanted to get back into using this green highlighter. It's Lucky Clover. I am planning to do kind of an editorial Slytherin look sometime soon once I have the time to do such a dramatic look. But this is the highlighter I really wanted to use, is that green one. So I brought this out. I've actually been using Pink Heart and Blue Ice a lot, like just going to work. It's it's a little bit bright, but it's not too bright if you use a light hand. So it is still work appropriate. Uh, definitely not these ones though. <laughs> Those are not work appropriate, but uh, this I would say, like these three right here, Blue Ice, Pink Heart, and Lucky Clover are pretty work appropriate if you use a light hand. I also keep my Laura Mercier poof in here. I definitely use poofs more in the summer when I tend to sweat a lot more and get oils through and I need to like touch up my makeup. So I keep this in here. I like to wash it about once a week. I don't know if I can wash it any more than that. I also like to call this my bread thing. <laughs> I did a makeup declutter video a few months back and this was in one of the drawers and I pulled it out and like just put it to the side and I got a comment and someone was like, oh my god, what was that bread thing? <laughs> and when I went to their timestamp, I saw it was this and it cracked me up. So yeah, this is my bread thing. <laughs> Let's move to the foundation drawer. I have my Makeup Revolution stick foundation in here. This is the Fast Base stick foundation, and I have the shade F6. This has just been like one of the quickest foundations to use, especially when I've been in a rush recently, just trying to get my butt to work. It is a good shade match. I don't have to mix it. Most of my other foundations right now, I do have to mix and lighten because I'm pale as heck right now. But this one is really good. The only place that I see issues with this foundation are right by my smile lines. That's, it does tend to crease right there. But then literally the rest of my face still looks amazing <laughs> by the end of the day. So I'm thinking of trying this out with maybe some different primers by my smile lines to make it a little less obvious, but I really like this. It's quick, it gets the job done. I can't live without it. <laughs> Next, I have a newer foundation from LA Girl. I know it's not brand new anymore, but I just picked it up. This is the Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation. What shade did I pick up? I have the shade Bisque, which is too dark for me, but when it comes to drugstore foundations, I do like to go a bit dark and then lighten it if need be. I saw they also came out with a new mixing pigment. I tended to use just the white shade of their previous HD foundation and that worked pretty well. But this one's like a glass bottle. It's got a little bit more product in it. So I've been testing this one out. The matte foundation, uh, it's, it's pretty hit or miss with me. I need to test it out a little bit more in order to like, get my full thoughts on it but I'm not liking it as much as that other foundation either. I am leaning now more towards matte, matte primers, matte foundations, so it's, it's the, the summer is starting. The summer is starting. 
Last but not least, I have my Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation because, of course, I've actually found that this doesn't hold up great when it's incredibly hot, like through a lot of oil or sweating. So I've been trying this out with different mattifying primers and with a matte mix and medium from e.l.f. So I'm going to do a whole video on that, but I'm just really hoping it works. I'm giving it a good test because I need a holy grail foundation for the summer. <laughs> it's going to be a long, hot summer. Let's go next up to this drawer. This used to have all of like my brow products, but now I'm just kind of putting in new products I'm testing out. I have all of the mini Physicians Formula products from, from their butter box. So I kept the box to show you guys, but I am testing out those products. They are just cute little minis of like their bronzer and of their highlighter and they have some eyeshadows and they have a lip product. So I have those in there to remind me to test out. I also have a foundation from L'Oreal that I've been testing out, but it's really not been working. I think it's probably going to be in a fails video or I'll do a fail video on its own. So this is kind of like my testing jour. I finally picked up the new ABH Brow Gel. I got the shade Ebony, so like the deep black shade. I can't really use this by myself with a full face of makeup. It looks, it gives me a more natural brow look when I'm, if I'm looking for a more carved out brow, this isn't what I'm reaching for by itself. I will use this to set the way I've been doing my brows currently. I've been using the dark shade from my Pen That Palette Rowdy in my brows, and then I set it with this, and I've actually really been liking it. This is great if I'm doing like a no makeup makeup day and I really just want some product in my brows, throw that in. Uh, but I've really been liking it. Of course I have my NYX glitter glue. <laughs> it's, it lives in here. This is actually a brand new container because I just panned I think my second or third one of these. I thought with spring and summer like here it'd be fun to bring out some like bright eyeliner. So I have one of these dollar liners from e.l.f. in like a bright color. I also have some of these faux white liners from NYX, so I've got like a nice little yellow and a pink shade. I'm finishing up this sample of this Hourglass Caution Mascara. I believe this will be the last month that I'll be using it. I've actually not really been that impressed with it. Uh, yeah, it's just been sitting very meh with me. Now a mascara that I absolutely adore. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I mentioned this in my last mascara video. If you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards. This is a brand new one that I bought, not only for that video, but also because I really just needed a mascara. <laughs> and this one is foolproof. Let's go to concealer. So I still have my Tarte Shape Tape. I've just been using this every day to prime my eyes, and I've actually noticed that it is getting a little bit more difficult to get product out. So I think we might almost be at the point where it's almost done. <laughs> this has literally lasted me months, months and months as an eye primer, but I gotta say, it's actually a decent eye primer. I was in Ulta the other day when I noticed that they had this new concealer out. Their other concealer was like my holy grail and it's super affordable, so I saw this and I knew I had to pick it up. This is the Youthful Glow Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid and it's in the shade Light Warm. Now I need to go pick up that original concealer that I really liked because it's in the same shade, but this one's really dark and I don't know if it's just because I'm really pale or if they changed the shade. <laughs> Uh, so I do really like this that I've tried it so far. Um, it is more of like a dewy kind of concealer, but it is too dark. So I do have to mix it in order for it to work under my eyes. And the concealer I've been mixing it with is this mini of the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Uh, honestly, this isn't really blowing my mind. And the shade was way too light. This is the shade Snow. So I can't use this on its own either. I have to mix it. But I did try it out on its own just to see how I liked the formula and I wasn't a fan. Uh, but it does work as a decent mix-in for lightening other concealers. Last but not least, primers. So while I'm not reaching for moisturizing primers as much anymore, I'm definitely making the move over to like pore filling and uh, mattifying primers. This one's almost done and I really just want to finish it up. This is the Misha BB Boomer. It's really nice. It's like a glowy moisturizing primer. I really just wanted this like barely anything left in here. I want to finish this up and just move it along. This is a sample of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I'm so glad I got the sample and didn't just buy it, because I actually don't really like it. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of this. Uh, it was, it's too tacky of a primer, and it doesn't feel hydrating, like, at all. <laughs> so it doesn't really work for me. This was originally part of my Bite Size Review series, which I believe I'm going to just start making them a part of my monthly makeup baskets, because I do keep all my Bite Size Reviews in a drawer, like up here. 
So it wouldn't be too much to just throw in the samples I've been using that month and just give kind of a rundown of those. So I think next month I'm going to start doing that. But I was debating whether or not to actually use up this last bit because I, I really didn't like this. This bottle is way too shiny and like the camera doesn't want to focus on it. But this is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. It's like a deluxe size that I got in a kit when I repurchased my favorite Holy Grail highlighter from Becca. And I've, it's been okay. I would never buy this full price. I think it's way too expensive for what it is. But as part of that kit, it was affordable and I'll get my use out of it. This is like a deluxe size of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the pore minimizing one. I've been bringing this out because I do have, the only other pore primer I have open right now is the, um, the e.l.f. one. But this one is like almost, it's like halfway done. And so I'm trying to finish up, like I've got a lot of primers that are like half empty in my collection. So I'm trying to just finish up the ones that I've got in there. Same with this one. This one I believe is a deluxe size. This is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. This was like my go-to primer last summer. And this one I had left in my primer drawer from last summer. So it's about halfway gone. I'm gonna finish it up and this might, I might actually rebuy this one. Cause this one was such a good mattifying primer. And I also saw that it did help with my acne back when it was worse, way worse than it is now. Moving on up a bit, this is the drawer where I used to have all of my mascaras before that mascara video. It is now empty. I just have an empty uh, clear brow gel because I do want a video or do a video on clear brow gels too. So I'm going to keep those along with any other mascara empties in there. And then this is just my bite size reviews. I don't have too many um, products to actually talk about right now. But I'll pick quite a few and as I go through them, I'll keep the products in here and then I'll just give you a rundown during the next month's bang up basket about ones that I've liked and ones that I've just really not liked. Please ignore the mess over to the left. Those are like all of my face palettes. <laughs> I'm bringing them all out so I can keep testing them and getting ready for that full face palette video, which will be coming sometime soon. I need like a full day to film that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you like this video. You'll give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out the playlist to see the rest of the months. I've had this going for over a year so I've got plenty of months worth of monthly makeup baskets if you're interested. Thank you again for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!